What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and today we're going to be talking about the Optima Ultima Streetcar Series. Now as you can see behind me, the Challenger took quite a took quite a beating while we were out there. But I wanted to make this video so we sort of give people an idea of what to expect when they do go out to one of these events. So if you don't know about the event, uh, it's held by Optima Batteries and it's a series of events to try to prove you have the ultimate street car. So it really pushes your car to the limits. Now there's five events in total. And the first event is autocross, which is just regular autocross. Then you have the speed stop challenge, which is where you sort of do this drag racing style. You have a left side and a right side. They sort of mirror each other. And you race the person next to you. You sort of do a small, um, you do a 180, you come back around and you have to stop in a, in a predetermined amount of space as fast as you can. And if you blow through the cones, there's a DNF and you gotta go again. So you do the left side and then you do the right side and then they do the combined overall time. You get an average time. You have the road rally, which is where you prove it's a street car. So it has to be registered and insured. And you drive anywhere between 25 to 100 miles on a long, I guess you could say like a cruise. Uh, you have the road course, which is um, just Typical road course, so for example, I went to NOLA Motorsports Park, we did the 16 turn road course, 2.75 miles, and it is not wheel to wheel racing, it's time attack based. So you try to put down the fastest lap time. And the last thing, design and engineering. So design and engineering is one of the tougher segments where you tell the judges what you've done to the car. So you tell them what you've done to keep it comfortable, a street car. So for example, you will get deducted points if you take out the AC or the radio and what you've done to make it better, to handle better, uh, to perform better, and so on. So overall, it's a blast. And anybody who's thinking about doing it, I think you should just go out and do it. It's a lot of fun. Even if you're not the most competitive, it is a lot of seat time. So for the price, you do get a lot of seat time. So I, if I were you, I would go ahead and do it. The series is notorious for sort of exposing weak points in your vehicle. I found some in mine, but that's totally okay. As you can see behind me, I've already started on working on making it better. So without further ado guys, enjoy the video, sort of what to expect in a typical Optima weekend. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're here at a Bucky's in, uh, actually just right outside of Houston in Katy, Texas. Uh, we hit the road kind of late and we should be getting to New Orleans around like 5 a.m. I think. So we got the car on the trailer, getting some gas, getting some snacks, and then we're gonna hit the road again. So we're gonna get there, get a little rest, and then we're gonna hit tech inspection uh, Friday, uh, maybe around noon and then spend the rest of the afternoon with my parents and my brother and maybe see some sights and get some food and uh, listen to some music in New Orleans. And then pretty much uh, the way I got the car set up, we're pretty much ready for Saturday and Sunday. We just gotta unload the trailer and go out there and you know give them hell. So uh, we'll see you guys in tech. Just the essentials. I mean, we go grocery shopping here. There's Ashley right there. Got some little drinks, some coffee, some nice coffee, baby. And then, that's the other one in the store right there. Where you can get grilled deer feeder, you can get furniture, so coffee. So yeah, we got the mandatory stuff, let's go check out. Last thing I want to show you guys is all these fuel pumps. So they stretch all the way down there. There's Kayla. They go all the way down there. There's our trusty steed. So let's get to New Orleans.
got the car off the trailer, pulling up the tech inspection right now. They're going to inspect our gear, inspect the car, and then I think we're going to decal the car up and then go set up our paddock area, uh, you know, tent, um, put the trailer down, and then I think we're going to go get some rest and then come back early. something to eat and then we'll be back here early tomorrow morning so let me get out of here I'm taking tire pressures uh, I'm gonna start with 35 all the way around and then uh, either work my way up or work my way down from there depending on traction uh, yeah I definitely think I want to do 35 in the front as well and the rear we'll just see how it feels so uh, yeah, let's start. last all across I did I set my tire pressures and I was playing with tire pressure, higher and lower. And I remember which tires are which because I changed out my wheels. You rotated them. Often. So uh, my tire pressures are all over the map right now. So right now it looks like this front driver and the rear passenger are off. So I'm just a little air. the car, uh, do the uh, autocross course walk, and then driver's meeting. 
and right after the driver's meeting we start. So um, yeah, let's do that.
right guys, so at this point I've already done a couple runs. First one I, need, I needed a buy run, and then the second run, the car was acting kind of weird. I think it just needed a little fuel because I had it kind of low. So I put some fuel in her. Third one was pretty good, ran a 37. Um, I don't even know what the average times are, but as you can see behind me. And uh, we're moving pretty quick actually. So this is awesome. Gonna do my fourth run now, and then I think after that you're gonna switch classes the mosquitoes here are massive i mean they're like helicopters and um but anyways we're gonna go to the uh, design and engineering portion of it but yeah so far i mean it's a lot of fun i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for this is my third run my third official run so let's see if we can uh, knock that time a little bit probably mess with the uh tire pressure a little bit and see if we can squeeze out a couple more tenths of a second or even a second that'd be great i just gotta clean up my driving kind of started pushing towards that last uh, big sweeper there. If I can just keep the car to plant and turn in, I think I'll save a lot of time there. But, yep, let's get to it. So I just did my fourth run. I uh, feel pretty good, feel pretty confident. I'm gonna go ahead and change up my suspension settings here. Um, so I'm kind of in the middle on my uh, BC Racing BR type coilovers. So I'm gonna go and change the settings very extreme. So I'm gonna go very stiff on front and back and then I'm gonna go back to very soft front and back and then see how the car feels after that. So here we go, nice and, nice and hard. That sounded dirty. <laughs> How's it going guys? Going good. Jimmy Day. Hey, how are you? <laughs> this guy who runs everything. So let me go ahead and set this car up and get ready and uh, spray down the tires and cool it off. Right, guys finished my last run I'm not sure if I already said that I'm here with Ashley and now we're in line for design and engineering that's the portion where we talk about what we've done to the car form and function um, you know how to make a style what we did to make it stylish to handle better kind of in our own unique way and that's how you get uh, judged it's on a scale of uh, like 1 to 10 on each category and it's you know zero out of a hundred points so it's kind of the trickiest part of the competition to gain high points in but it's also what you get to boast and brag about what you've done to your car so we're in line we're gonna go ahead and get, get that done and uh probably get some footage of that too with a 6.1 liter MVVA or 370 cubic inch. I do have a custom grind thrower cam in there and it's a 218, 226 duration, 5.56 lift, uh, like maybe carbon fiber I have a Bilotech oil cash can, oil separator. Um, going to the uh, exhaust, we have a JBA performance long tube, ceramic titanium coated long tube headers with JBA catalyst, mid pipes and JBA stainless steel cat back, so we have the full JBA package going. 
Going to the wheels here, we got TSW Valencia. They're 20 by 10, square setup, same offset. Running a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, uh, 255 tires, square setup as well. Uh, standing in front right here, we got the uh, one right here, truck This chassis mount at four points. To, uh, the other two are right here in the corner, but you can't see them. I put a high tech soft track wire, so this front quarter right here. For suspension, we have BC Racing BR type rollovers. They are single way adjustable, 20 way adjustable, front and rear. On to the side of the vehicle, if you guys keep your head in here, I took out the rear seats and added a Dodge Demon rear seat building to lighten up the car. Took out seat belts, took out the uh, safety restraints, and you'll see that the car right nice and tight, and the door came about an inch and a half. So I fit in there nice and comfortable. Moving on to the back, you see I got this really cool room spoiler, that's just the points. I got the NFR Engineering <laughs> uh, rear, uh, what we call it, wicker belt. So it's got the same cutout like the Hellcat does in the front, so it just kind of ties everything and ties everything in. Uh, the trunk, uh, there's nothing I took out of the trunk. I try to keep everything covered up and pretty, uh, and I haven't had anything in the trunk. And we've got the ZL1 add-ons, front and rear tow hooks. All right, so that was design and engineering. I put the car back at grid, all the way back there, there it is. And I'm going to get some food in me now, get some chow. And after that, we're gonna do some rally cross runs and then the road rally and end it all with some food at the end of the road rally. Baby, come on. All right, so I just finished all my runs. Uh, as you can see in the video, uh, if I get the video from Ashley and my parents, I was having some issues. I was doing good, and then the car started going into limp mode at the uh, higher end of uh, the, the tachometer here. I've never done that before, so it's kind of just threw me off. The car runs and drives fine, but it would go to the end of first, go into second, then it just go to limp mode. It would hit 2,000 RPMs, and I couldn't rev or shift out of it. I got to turn the car off, turn it back on once I get into grid, and the car runs completely fine again. So, but when I run, uh, but when I would reset it, it would run fine again. It was just kind of hit or miss. So I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, it's just something else I got to figure out. So now we're going to get ready for the road rally. And then, of course, the um, the fire aid uh, welcome party here at the end. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Ashley now. Meet everybody at the tank, get some water, uh, relax a little bit, maybe get a little snack. And then uh, hit up the road rally. So see you there. You got me? So you can see Ashley's holding up some cookies. They're actually made by uh, the race day director, Jimmy Day's wife. And we got them for being uh, some of the most enthusiastic people out here for it being our first time. Mm -hmm. So such an honor, got some cookies, and now we're about to jump in the car and do the road rally. And uh, I'll talk more about that once we get in the car. Alrighty, so we're starting the road rally, but they don't want us driving in the rain, but we still have to do the segment because it's part of the event. So they're having us drive from inside the main paddock to the front gate and back. And that's the end of the road rally. So, but if you look over here in the clouds, um, we have a lot of lightning coming in, so they don't want anybody driving out there. It's just too dangerous. So we're gonna start this road rally and finish it.
starting day two of race day, early in the morning. Good morning guys, so day two of the Optima, we're gonna do the uh, road course today. Uh, got here early in the morning, it was pouring rain. We might have a little more rain coming back over there. You can see that. So got our transponder rental, put the transponder on the car and just kind of going over the car and getting ready. Uh, so we're also doing the speed stop challenge today. So we're gonna go walk the course now on the speed stop and see what it's looking like and then get ready for the driver's meeting, get suited up. And I think we're gonna be the first ones out on the road course for the first half of the day. So let's get it done. So I just finished the uh, speed stop course walkthrough. You see that storm behind me coming, boy. I really hope it passes by quick. And if you can see right behind me, directly behind me is the uh, road course and it's nice and sunny, but this monster is coming. But the speed stop, uh, not too bad. Just that the uh, paddock area, the surface, the skid pad is actually, just, it's got a couple spots of water, nothing too crazy, which is just gonna slow us down. So I think it'll make uh, the competition a little more interesting. I wish it was completely dry out, but we'll see what the afternoon holds for us. Maybe it will dry up. So now I'm gonna head over to the driver's meeting and most likely, uh, excuse me, most likely after that, we'll set up in grid and I'll set up my GoPro in the car and see what footage I can get. Hopefully it's not pouring rain by the time I get out there. I always have that luck when I'm the first one to go and it rains in the forecast. It always starts downpouring on me. But heading back to the Optima trailer, gonna go get a uh, driver's meeting done and get suited up and get ready to get on track. We are gonna have a driver's meeting at 8.30. That is approximately 35 minutes. We're gonna do a driver's meeting at 8.30. We are gonna have that driver's meeting under the canopy where we had dinner last night, because I'm not sure what this is gonna do. So under the canopy at 8.30, we're gonna have our driver's meeting right over here. We're gonna get things kicked off today. If you have not already, you need a transponder today. You must have a transponder. That's how we time it. Well, the rain cleared up. Just finished driver's meeting. Uh, getting ready for my run group, which is in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the car ready, get closer over there to the grid. And then uh, we're gonna do our orientation lap. And then we, uh, my group is gonna start their hot runs right after that. So just gonna get suited up and get ready. All right guys, so I'm in, the, uh, I'm in my fire suit. It's nice and hot. And we're getting ready to stage up a grid and then go out for our laps.
All right, so I just finished my first road course run. Um, I'm running in the novice group and I did pretty good. Uh, I was moving along pretty good, uh, passed a couple guys. So hopefully they move me up in grid now so uh, they don't slow me down and I can keep clocking those fast lap times. So I'm actually at uh, our little paddock area, getting some water, getting some ho-hos. And then I'm gonna go set up the GoPro this time on the car so I can record what's going on out on track. And my parents and Ashley and Kayla and Albert and um, Ariana, they're taking video and pictures from on top of the, um, what's it like a viewer's tower. So different perspective. So I can get video down on the track and they can and they can get video out on the other side of the track and you put them both together and kind of see what's going on. Car's running good. So the only thing I wish, sorry, they're calling expert group A. So the only thing I wish I did was probably add a little camber to the front. Um, I think that would have helped grip up the car in the tighter corners. But other than that, I mean, the tire wear is good. So I don't think I'm gonna make any adjustments. I think I'm just gonna focus on the line, slow and smooth, smooth as fast. Um, kind of been attacking the corners hot. And I think maybe I should come at them, um, not so hot, but uh, exit the corner faster. I feel like uh, my exiting is kind of slow. So I'll work on that while I'm out there and the speed will come with it. So for now, I'm gonna eat some snacks. I'm gonna drink some water. This is really hot and uh, get back out there.
Look at you. You notice the details. So after. All right, so we just finished the second session. I'm not gonna say just finished because we've been done for a little while, but sad to say, we're done for the rest of the weekend. Uh, there's still the second half of the day, but I did do every single event required by the Optima Series. I did do all five events, but on the second or third lap of my second road course session, I ended up blowing out the rear main seal. So I was just going hard, I mean, full send. I looked up in my rear view mirror and I saw the, uh, the white smoke and uh jimmy day of the optima series he said uh, here's a tip if you look up and you see smoke it's you so luckily it was right where you uh, exit the track so i got right off track i pulled off i turned the car off while my brother came running over and he looked underneath and 
immediately saw the oil dripping out. He said, rear main seal. Uh, looked underneath and sure enough, that's what it is. Uh, it's good at idle. Once you try to get any gas or anything, she starts puking it out. So it's just safe to say that we stopped for the rest of the day. And now I get to enjoy and watch everybody else race. So uh, not a complete loss. It's not like the engine's blowing or anything, but I had a ton of fun and I'm glad to say that I was a part of it. So we're just gonna beef things up with our week. Uh, the series is notorious for exposing weak points in your vehicle. Today mine was a seal, so I'll take that. <laughs> so we're gonna have lunch now and actually gonna just spectate and enjoy the rest of the time here. So I'll get some video of uh, Next up, now this is one of our favorite awards to give away. This is the Max Tie Downs That Won't Let You Down Award. And this is for a free ultra pack of Max Tie Downs. And this goes to the person who we deem the most shameful on their tie down situation. That award is going to go to Mr. Brian Garcia. Brian Garcia. <laughs> so Mr. Garcia, we give you a certificate for these max tie downs, okay? And I know it's a shame we're giving you a certificate because you actually need a tie down, is that correct? Does anyone have a single tie down that can help Mr. Garcia on his trailer over there? Please talk to Val and Tom right over there. They will help you. Congratulations. Want to make sure you get that certificate and use those max tie downs. They are the best in the business. Congratulations, Brian. All right, next up, I would normally do this. So there you have it, guys. A typical weekend at the Optima. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more of the uh, Optima Challenge series, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And... Uh, yeah, let's we'll keep working on this. There'll be more videos of uh, getting this car ready where it needs to be. Uh, I'll tell you right now, wide body's coming, wider wheels, wider tires. Um, as for the motor, I'm not going to give anything away yet, but we do plan on making a little more power. So until next time, guys, peace out.